Hello, hello, my friends. Did you guys know that it is National Fragrance Week? Did you guys even know that that was a thing? Um, I didn't, but I'm not mad about it because as somebody who loves candles, it means that some of my favorite brands are likely to be running some good sales this week. In today's video, we are going to be focusing on Homeworks. They are going to have 13 fragrances coming to the Slatkin & Co. website to celebrate the National Fragrance Week. I, I don't know. It feels kind of weird, like acting like this is a holiday. It's not a holiday. It's just a marketing holiday, I guess. But regardless, like I said, I'll never be one to turn down a good sale. So yes, 13 fragrances will be launching on the Slatkin & Co. website. So I will be letting you guys know what fragrances are coming. I'm also going to start out this video by sharing with you the sale information. Spoiler alert, you guys. This is probably one of the best sales that I have seen since Black Friday. So you're going to want to tune in for those details. I'm also going to be sharing with you some of my personal recommendations, candles that I have burned and give two thumbs up to. And then finally, I will be sharing with you what is currently on my wish list. Yes, I am filming this on a day that my family is home. So my apologies if you hear any background noise. It just is what it is. It's a cloudy day. It's a cozy day. So we're just going to talk about all of this information. Now, before I get into the meat of this video, I want to give a warm welcome to any new viewers. Hi, I'm Katie. I love to talk all things candles here on my channel. So if you find yourself wanting to stick around for more candle content, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button and notification bell. And I also like to be very upfront with all of you guys. I, I I am a Homeworks brand ambassador. However, this video is not sponsored by Homeworks. I am just basically passing on information that I received earlier this week to all of you. We have been given permission to go ahead and start sharing this information as of Monday, March 18th. And so that's what I am doing for all of you guys. If you want more information, by the way, if you didn't catch my video yesterday, I kind of pulled back the curtain and shared with you guys what it is like behind the scenes. And one of the topics that I did talk about is um, homeworks or like not homeworks, but just like brand ambassadorships and PR and some of the misconceptions that can surround that. And I hope that I cleared the air on that. But if you are curious um, about any of those topics, please make sure that you check out that video. I will have it linked at the end of this one. But all right. That's enough of a lengthy introduction. Let's go ahead and get into the details of this video. So I'm going to go ahead and start out with the sale information. So what I have been given from my contact over at Homeworks is that this sale will start tomorrow, Tuesday, March 19th. However, Harry Slatkin has teased and it has been confirmed that he will be on Instagram this evening over on the Slatkin & Co. Instagram handle. I will make sure that I have that linked down below for all of you guys in case you're not already following the brand over there. Harry will be live with a special guest and he says that there will be deals and steals to be had. So don't be surprised if some of these sales start as early as this evening. But um, again, the information that I was given was that these sales will be starting tomorrow. So we have 13 new fragrances. I will talk about those. Some of them, actually, I think the bulk of them are returning favorites. Um, but here are here is the sale information. Fragrances that are going to be launching this week on the Slacken & Co. website will be offered for $22 each. Their normal retail price on most of these four wick 18 ounce jars is $30. Existing scents, meaning fragrances that are already on the Slacken & Co. website will be offered for $20 each. In addition to those sale prices, it's saying that four wicks will be buy five, get one free. Now, then it also says at $20 each. So I'm not sure if that only applies to the $20 candles or if that will be including the new launches. I don't really have clarity on that. So at, at worst case scenario, you guys, you can get six candles essentially for $100 because it's going to be $20 each. Yeah, six, six for a hundred. That's pretty good. And on top of that, we are being told that ambassador discount codes can be used with this sale. Now, again, that's what I'm being told. So if it doesn't work out, don't shoot the messenger. That's just what we've been told. I do have an affiliate discount code with Homeworks. It is Katie's Joyful Life. I'll make sure I put it here on the screen for you guys and link it down below for you. And that will save you an additional 15% on top of your order over $40. So again, if you're getting six candles for $100 and if you are comfortable using an affiliate code because I am eligible 
responsible for a commission on that. So I always say only use it if you're comfortable. Um, if you're taking an additional 15% off of that, you can essentially get six candles for $85. Last I checked, that comes in a little under $15 per candle. These are less, these are lower prices than what you are finding in the discount retailers. I'm not finding anything truthfully in my local discount retailers. So again, these are some pretty good prices if you have been wanting to stock up on some Hallmark's favorites or try out some new things. Also, if you happen to like the three wick candles, they're okay to me, they're not really my favorite. Or the diffusers, personally, you guys, I think the diffusers are best for smaller spaces. Uh, those will be offered for $14 each. Now, Homeworks did send me a Reed diffuser in PR in the fragrance Palm Beach. Currently, I actually, the way that I like to use the diffusers is um, I put them in the back of my Expedition. That's like my family vehicle. I have three kids and um, it, it's a great car fragrance, I think. That's personally how I like to use them. I know a lot of people also like to use them in small spaces such as a closet or maybe um, a vehicle. Um, other places that I've seen, what's the other places I've seen? Like maybe an RV or a trailer. I know we're coming into the summertime where a lot of people like to camp. Um, so you can use those for maybe even something as small as a powder room. That's generally where I would use a reed diffuser. And then it also says that hand soaps will be two for $16. In addition to all of this pricing, you can get free shipping on any order over $100 and flat rate shipping will be $5. So that's the pricing that we are being told. Like I said, these are some pretty good prices because again, if you take advantage of that buy five, get one free. And if you use an ambassador discount code, or maybe you have some rewards points that you might be able to combine with it. Um, you can, again, you're getting these candles for less than $15 each. So good pricing there. All right. So let's go ahead and talk about the fragrances that are making a return. And what I am being shown here is that, um, March 19th, there will be, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fragrances are launching on the 19th. And then there will be another five fragrances launched on Thursday, the 21st. So fragrances that will be coming tomorrow, March 19th. The farm stand collection is making a return. Although I'm going to tell you, I'm slightly disappointed in it. Okay. First fragrance that is coming back is Farm Stand Watermelon. Also, you guys, sorry, I sometimes I'm just flying off the <laughs> flying off the handle here. Um, I do want to let you guys know that all of the fragrances that I'm talking about, as well as timestamps, I will have in the description box down below. So that way, if you want to go back and reference, you can you can do that. All right. So Farm Stand Watermelon. Fragrance notes of watermelon juice, sweet honeydew, strawberry leaf, and crystallized sugar. So I did have that fragrance last summer. I had it in a duo from QVC, and it had a 2022 pour date on it. I, You guys know I had really, I did not have a lot of success with 2022 pour dates, but I am happy to tell you that most of my late 2023 pour dates and and further have been performing well for me. I will caution you to that... Um, they might take a little bit longer to pull out. I think they moved, they switched wicks and they do take a little bit longer to pull out. So make sure that when you're burning any of these candles on the first burn, that you are giving probably a good four to five hour window for these candles to completely pull out. Um, but yeah, that being said, I, I do like farm stand watermelon. Um, it's, it's kind of more of like, you do smell that honeydew in there. It's not Jolly Rancher watermelon a la Kringle's Juicy Delight or watermelon pops, um, but it's still a nice watermelon fragrance. So if you want something that's definitely not candied, um, that is one that I would recommend. Farm Stand Peach, I know that this is a fan favorite. Ripened Peach, Mandarin, Peach Blossom, Sugared Vanilla. I have honestly always been intrigued by this fragrance, but if you have been watching my channel for a while and you've seen my husband with me on a couple of these videos, you guys know he has made it no secret. He detests, detests peach fragrances. So that is not one that I will be purchasing. One that I am curious about, and this might finally be the year that I go ahead and purchase, Farm Stand Strawberry will also be coming to the Slack Can & Co. website. Farm Fresh Strawberries, Red Raspberry Currants, 
lemon zest, and crystallized sugar are the fragrance notes that are being listed here. Um, and these are all going to have that lovely gingham packaging um, that was in the farm stand collection last year. I don't think the images that I have here, you guys, I'm going to try to pop them up as I'm talking about these, by the way. Um, it looks like they're coming with white lids, although they're not that scalloped lid that was offered in last year's farm stand collection over on QVC. But again, farm stand watermelon, farm stand peach, and farm stand strawberry are all going to be launching on the Slatkin & Co. website. I am hoping it is an oversight, but did you guys notice that there is another farm stand fragrance that is missing from this lineup? Um, where is farm stand blueberry? Because that is like the most amazing blueberry fragrance ever. So I'm hoping that this is an oversight and that that one will mysteriously show up because that honestly has is, is been my, uh, my favorite farm stand fragrance. All right, then they also have the Springtime Treats collection. Now these all look to be returning favorites. I've seen all of these fragrances before. Um, one of these is being sent to me in PR. It has not arrived yet. And I will let you guys know which one it is when I talk about it. Um, make sure you're following me over on Instagram or if you're subscribed here on my channel and you don't use Instagram, I will make sure to try to put a post on the community page when um, I have been off, I have two candles being sent to me in PR. And when those come in, I will make sure that I share kind of like my cold sniff impressions with you guys. So stay tuned, follow me over on Instagram or here, you know, make sure you're subscribed and I'll update you guys in the community page. All right, so fragrances that are returning. This seems to be um, a couple of these that were launched last year. So Root Beer Float is coming back. Fragrance notes of Root Beer Anise, anise Sparkling Ginger, Vanilla Bean, and Crystallized Sugar. Honestly, you guys, I had that one last year and I didn't like it. It was very medicinal. Now, that being said, I'm not really one who really loves root beer fragrances. Um, there was just something about it that did not hit my nose right. Now, I did enjoy Kringle Candles Reindeer Beer. That was a really nice root beer fragrance. So if you like similar fragrances that I, to me that I like, goodness, you guys, grammar. Um, if, if, you, if we tend to have similar scent preferences and you're asking me which root beer fragrance I like more, I'm going to choose Kringle Candles, Kringle Candles Reindeer Beer. Um, root Beer Float last year just was not really a hit for me. Mint Chip Ice Cream, fragrance notes of iced peppermint, crushed white chocolate, crystallized sugar, and whipped cream. Um, again, my husband is not really a fan of peppermint fragrances. And I, I don't know, you guys, I only really burn peppermint in the wintertime, so I don't really see myself purchasing that one. A candle that now we're talking about two fragrances that I have burned before. Vanilla bean ice cream is making a return. This is Madagascar vanilla bean, caramel cream, cinnamon, and crystallized sugar. That one definitely smelled like a vanilla ice cream note. I actually really liked that candle last year. It was perfect fragrance to blend with like pie fragrances. So I remember I purchased that around the time that they were releasing that, um, was it like the Carnival Treats collection? There was like a mold, um, not mold berry cobbler, that was more winter, uh, triple berry pie. If you have any kind of pie fragrances, I find that that vanilla bean ice cream really complements, you know, complements that other fragrance. I'm the type of person that I generally like to burn two or three fragrances at the same time in my home in different locations. Um, so that one was nice. Remember though, that it is a vanilla fragrance, so it may not be a powerhouse. I remember last year though, that I got pretty decent performance out of it. Here's one that honestly, you guys, I almost, so I told you guys um, in that PR video or like the pulling back the curtain video that when Hallmark sends us opportunities to receive PR, sometimes they will just send us a fragrance. Uh, like in the case of Palm Beach, they just sent that candle to me. They kind of chose for me and sent it to me. But other times they will allow us the opportunity to pick what, what fragrance we want. And um, I almost chose this one, but I didn't because I've had it in the past and I thought, no, I better focus on getting a fragrance I haven't tried. But Pink Lemon Shortbread is making a return. Fragrance notes of Pink Lemon Vanilla Shortbread, Sugared Citron, and P Buttercream Swirl. So I have had that candle in the past. I feel like the last time I had it was two or three years ago. It is a cousin to Limoncello Cupcake. If you like Limoncello Cupcake from Hallmarks, then I, you will like this fragrance. It's slightly more dense. Um, kind of, it's funny. It, it You do think more like pink lemon instead of 
I don't know. There is something about it that differentiates itself from Limoncello Cupcake. But if you are a fan of Limoncello Cupcake, I would, I would give two thumbs up to the pink lemon shortbread. And then the candle that I do have on its way to me in PR, because I have not tried this fragrance before, is Raspberry Coconut Cake. I do believe that this one might be a new fragrance. I'm not sure if I've seen this one before. Fragrance notes of coconut cake, fresh raspberry jam, raspberry sugar, and vanilla cream. Now, um, another ambassador, I've talked to a couple of other ambassadors because, you know, we've all gotten this information. And um, one of them says that she thinks that this is probably maybe a repackage of raspberry coconut snowball. I have not had that fragrance, so I can't give a yes or no as to whether or not that's true. Um, but I know that kind of these raspberry coconut type of cake candles have been kind of they've been had like different names with hallmarks over the last year um, but regardless that is one that is coming to me in pr it's not here yet but i will keep you guys updated on that all right so those are the eight fragrances that will be released tomorrow march 19th then there is the boozy brunch collection that will be launched this thursday march 21st so the fragrances that will be offered, it looks like there's three new fragrances and then two are um, returning favorites because I've seen them and actually had them before. All right, so Boozy Brunch, this fragrance notes are, the fragrance notes on Boozy Brunch are Bubbly Prosecco, Sparkling Citrus, Pineapple Nectar, and Grapefruit Twist. Now that one sounds, actually, you know, it's funny, that one didn't really catch my eye at first, but now more, the more that I look at those fragrance notes, I'm kind of like, Ooh, that, that does sound kind of nice. Now, just how boozy is boozy brunch though? Because that's always my um, hang up sometimes. Like I, I like boozy fragrances, but I notice that I tend to like like rum or whiskey type of fragrances. And I tend to like those more in like the fall and winter months. I don't necessarily go for boozy fragrances in the spring and summertime. Um, but that one, now that I'm looking at those fragrance notes a little bit more, I do like sp sparkling citrus, pineapple nectar, ooh, grapefruit. I don't know, you guys, that one might be a maybe for me. Here's the candle that I did choose for my PR item. They are sending one of the candles um, from this collection to me in PR. And again, it's not here yet, but when I read the fragrance notes to you guys, anybody who's been following me for a while, you will not be surprised that this is the one that I chose. Powdered sugar crepe, warm vanilla crepe, ground cinnamon, melted butter, and powdered sugar. Anybody surprised? You all know I love me a good gourmand and that one definitely caught my eye. Plus I have not seen this fragrance offered before. And again, having a channel where I'm focusing on candle content, I'm generally probably going to be looking for new fragrances to review for all of you guys. And I have a feeling that there's going to be a lot of gourmand lovers who are intrigued by this fragrance. So um, yeah, really excited to be getting that one. I am curious to see if this is going to be in the same vein, because we've seen this happen before. Hot Cider Donut is such a hit, but then we've also seen like, what was it? There was like harvest donut or sugared beignets um what was the other one apple there was like an apple churro there's quite a few fragrances that sometimes fall into this like they're all little cousins of hot cider donut so i that's the only thing that has me a little bit curious about this one drunken fruit salad so the fragrance notes on this are sparkling wine ripe red fruits green melon and georgia peach um you guys know that one's going to be out because of the peach fragrance in there i it won't be one that will be coming home with me rosé all day now i have had this fragrance in the past and honestly you guys i decluttered it there was something about it that i just didn't really care for rose sangria sweet sunberry sparkling orange peach blossom now if you are somebody who loved um i don't think it's still on the website anymore what's the um berry trifle if you like the berry note and berry trifle i feel like this rosé all day was kind of like the boozy cousin i definitely did get a boozy note in there um that sangria i i definitely smelled in it and it was just it almost came across a little sour to my nose um, not like sour milk or anything, but just, I don't know. I, the, it was, it was the boozy note that was just hitting not right with my nose. And then a fragrance that I've had in the past. And again, if my husband liked peach fragrances, I would actually purchase this one again, because this is a lovely spring and summertime fragrance, white sangria. So fragrance notes of sweet peach, white cherry juice, pineapple, coconut, rum, apricot, nectar, and raspberry. 
part of me wants to get it and just be like, oh, well, I'll just burn it when he's not home. Um, but again, you guys, I'm on a budget too. And so I have to make things work for me. But that is a really nice fragrance. Definitely makes you think of a sangria, but it's not as boozy as rosé all day. So those are the fragrances that will be launching this week. Let me see, where am I at time-wise? All right, I'm at 20 minutes into this video, so I need to keep it moving here. So in addition to the uh, to the candles, so that's going to be $22 for all of those fragrances that I just talked about. Other candles that have already been on the website are going to be $20. And then don't forget, you guys, last I checked, as of the day that I'm filming this, because yes, I film it a couple of days before I post this, um, last I checked, there are still a lot of fall and winter fragrances for clearance prices on the website. So those are being listed at $18.99. Not bad, friends. Not bad. All right. I could feel a coughing fit coming on and needed to take a break to get a sip of water. All right. So let's go ahead and talk about fragrances that I have personally burned and would recommend. I'm going to, sorry, I just hit the mic. That's a new thing for me, you guys. I keep hitting it. All right. So fragrances that are on the website right now that um, maybe are not really for this time of year, but if you are a gourmand lover, I'm always going to recommend Birthday Cake. In fact, spoiler alert, here's one that I just grabbed out of my empties stash. You guys know this is my very favorite vanilla cake fragrance out of all of the brands that I have tried. This is my ultimate favorite. Fragrance notes of vanilla cake, whipped cream, caramelized sugars, and happy wishes. This fragrance just smells like you are burning or burning. I always say that you guys, I promise I am actually a decent baker and cook. <laughs> I don't burn much food. It smells like you have a cake in the oven. One of those funfetti cakes. Oh, it is so, so delicious. Other fragrances, hot cider donut. You guys know that I'm always going to recommend that one. Although if you are a seasonal burner for me personally, it's more of a fall and winter fragrance. Spun vanilla sugar is one that you can never go wrong with as well. Um, other fragrances that are on here that um, all the rest of these I feel like would be more pertinent to this time of year. So I'm going to go ahead and list off the ones that I don't currently have in my collection. So peanut butter and raspberry jam. I did do a dedicated review on that last year when it was launched. That was a really nice fragrance. I don't know if I will be purchasing it again because again, you guys know, I'm in a little bit different situation with having a channel. I definitely have to prioritize new fragrances with my candle budget. And I really only repurchase fragrances that I'm like, yes, those are like my top tier fragrances. It's one that I would recommend, but it's not a top tier fragrance for me, but it, it still makes the list for me. Honeydew Cooler is another fragrance that I have loved in the past, particularly if you are planning to purchase the new Farm Stand Watermelon fragrance. Those two combine really well because Farm Stand Watermelon does have a honeydew note in there. So if you're looking for, if you're like me and like to burn more than fra one fragrance at the same time to kind of give your home all over fragrance, uh, Honeydew Cooler pairs really nicely with Farm Stand Watermelon. I did use that combo last year and it was really nice. Lemon Poppy Muffin, you guys know I did a dedicated review on this one earlier. Spoiler alert, this one will also be in my empties video for this month. Fragrance notes on this one are poppy seed, lemon zest, baked vanilla, sparkling ginger. This is a lovely, lovely fragrance for this time of year. Uh, let's see what else is on here that I would recommend. Um, kitchen herbs. So this is a fragrance. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out here. I still need to do a dedicated review on this. This is a very underrated candle. If you caught my, what was it? Early March candle chat. I talked about that. I am going to be burning this one. I feel like nobody talks about this fragrance and I get it. Herbaceous notes can be very polarizing. And so I think that's why people are hesitant because I think most people would want to smell this one beforehand. So the fragrance notes on kitchen herbs are wild mint leaves, fresh thyme, sage leaf, and bay laurel. Let me tell you guys, this fragrance, it's like walking through a fresh herb garden. I really like pairing this with like a lemon or an orange fragrance, particularly if I have been cooking very um, odorous, is that a word? Very strong odor foods to kind of cl cleanse the, the air. Oh, this is a beautiful one. This is very green. Um, it's not floral. It's just, oh, green. You get all of those herbs that are listed on here. So this 
very, very underrated fragrance. Again, I'm going to hold it up. My light, my ring light might be reflecting a little bit too much off of it, but this is a really good fragrance. I would definitely recommend it if you are looking for something that you want to kind of like cleanse the palette. I did do a dedicated review on this candle last week, and I think, um, you know, it did okay. I think there's quite a few people that kind of missed it. White tea leaf, so I'll make sure that I have the review listed down below. Fragrance notes here of white tea leaf, bergamot, verbena, and carnation blossom. This is a really nice fragrance. Um, if you are somebody who purchases from multiple brands, if you happen to have just recently purchased the new Kringle Lemon Tea and Roses, this fragrance pairs really nicely with that one, as well as Bath & Body Works Daffodil Daydreams. So if you have either of those fragrances in your collection and you're looking to add another one to complement those, this fragrance is really nice. It's very much like a um, delicate tea type of fragrance mixed with a little bit of floral sweet carnation blossom. It's a beautiful fragrance. Again, another one that I feel like is flying under the radar, but it's a perfect, lovely fragrance for springtime. Let me see, what other fragrances do I have here? Oh, here we go. Here are two like perennial favorites for me. You guys know, this one actually I think made my top fragrances of 2022. Blueberry Cheesecake. I will recommend this fragrance every day that ends in Y. Fragrance notes here of Wild Main Blueberry Cheesecake Accord, Blackberry Jam, and Brown Sugar Crust. I always say what you are seeing here on the label, this is what you're getting in the fragrance notes. Now, when I purchased this candle at first, I was really nervous about that Cheesecake Accord because I didn't want that lactonic note to come across as sour and gross. Let me tell you, it's not. It, it lends a creaminess to it. But oh man, I will give it to Homeworks. I feel like does some of the best blueberry fragrances in my opinion. I love the way that they do blueberry. You get some of the graham cracker note, note in here. And the blueberry is like that blueberry compote that you're seeing on top here. Just one of my all time fra favorite fragrances from Homeworks. And if you are a gourmand lover, but you kind of like to lighten it up for the spring and summer, you want to incorporate some fruit. That is a fragrance that is really good. Another solid performer, if you're wanting um, another blueberry gourmand that um, has a little bit more floral in it, is the blueberry violet tart. Uh, that one is, it's not, it doesn't have the creamy element here, but that is also another fragrance that I would recommend. And then this is a fragrance that, um, again, I don't feel like a lot of people have talked about this one, but I feel like this is one that's going to segue because I actually have, this is one that I recommend. This is one of the few fragrances that I've had before and it is in my cart to go ahead and repurchase. And it is Valencia Orange. Fragrance notes on Valencia Orange are Valencia Orange, Sugared Lemon, Glazed Vanilla Bean, and Sweet Amber. If you happen to have had Homeworks' Orange Creamsicle, this is her fraternal twin. This is just missing that kind of like vanilla cream note to it. But honestly, you guys, if I were burning these two, orange creamsicle and this Valencia orange in two separate rooms, I don't really think that I would be able to make much of a distinguishment between the two of them. This is just a creamy, juicy, oh, this is probably like, this is probably my favorite orange fragrance. This is one that I love burning as I transition from spring into the summertime. It's bright, it's cheery. You can blend it with a lot of other fruit fragrances. You could even burn this, oh, with that vanilla bean ice cream and you could get that like orange creamsicle effect. But this is, it smells like an orange creamsicle to me. It is so, so good. Like one of those popsicles, oh, just delicious. So that is actually one that is sitting in my, cart or slash wish list. Um, and I think that that's probably a good segue here for me to share with you what is on my wish list. So I'll go ahead and tell you that, uh, that, uh, Valencia orange is one that I've had before. And then I'll tell you the other fragrances that I have had before, and I will be repurchasing them. Lemon poppy muffin is another fragrance that is in my cart because you guys know that I have been anticipating that fragrance to make a return for the last few years. And I want another one in my collection just in case it goes away and doesn't ever come back. It is one of my favorite fragrances from Homeworks. I do have a dedicated review on that as well. Again, you guys, if I have reviews, everything will be in the description box down below because quite a few of these I do have reviews on. 
Surprisingly enough, I actually have another pistachio glazed donut in my, in my cart. And the reason why is because I recently purchased Kringle Candles Easter Brunch from their Easter collection. And that is a really nice, um, bready, slight almond note, but it's not as like artificial almond extract note as say Bath and Body Works almond croissant, but pistachio glazed donut, I actually think will really complement that fragrance nicely. And considering that's a pretty large candle that I just recently got, I thought, you know what, I can pick up a pistachio glazed donut and decide to burn that alongside with it. If you caught my candle review, just be aware, there really is not a donut accord in that pistachio glazed donut. In fact, let me go ahead and talk about the fragrance notes because I did write them down. Pistachio glazed donut, the fragrance notes are crushed pistachio, fried donut, ground nutmeg, and white sugar glaze. I really think that the candle should have been just called um, glazed pistachio glaze. There's no donut accord in there, but it's still a really nice fragrance, particularly for this time of year. Another fragrance, let me see, I talked about lemon poppy muffin, Valencia orange, and pistachio glazed donut. Is, are those the only ones that I've had before? Oh, there is one candle that is actually sitting there on clearance, but I am tempted to actually go ahead and purchase it as a backup because it is one of my favorite fall fragrances. And you guys might be surprised to see it because it is actually marketed as, as a Halloween candle. You guys know that I am not a big fan of Halloween. Um, Midnight Moon. I love that fragrance. And I went through two of them last fall and both of them performed really, really well for me. So the fragrance notes on Midnight Moon are autumn leaves, fresh pumpkin, dark woods, and ginger crystals. I always say that that fragrance to me is, is like um, if Bath & Body Works leaves got together with Homeworks' pumpkin woods and had a baby, that's what it smells like. It is one of my all-time favorites. So that one, because it is on clearance and I'm already going to be at the free shipping threshold and I can use the 15%, I think that I'm going to go ahead and add another one to my collection. All right. And then let's go ahead and talk about fragrances that um, I, I want to pick up, um, but I haven't tried before. So I already touched on Farm Stand Strawberry. That is one that I do think that I'm going to go ahead and pick up. I also have my eye on Pink Rum Punch, top notes of sour limeade, orange juice, ginger fizz, mid notes of pink pineapple, sweet passion fruit, and red strawberry, base notes of simple syrup and tropical rum. I love me some good rum punch, especially when I'm down in the Caribbean. Spoiler alert, I am actually heading down there next month for a very much anticipated vacation. Just my husband and I getting away for a week. It's going to be really nice. Um, so that one has caught my eye. Coconut Birch is another fragrance that is currently sitting in my cart because I do love me some good coconut fragrances. I feel like I can't get enough of them in the summertime. Top notes of coconut water, citrus sparkle, birch leaf, mid notes of water lily, vanilla bean, and amber creme. Base notes of white patchouli, salted driftwood, and sea moss. So again, that's another fragrance that has intrigued me. And then here's one that honestly, you guys, this is a case of the packaging sucked me in. I've seen this for quite some time over on the uh, QVC website, but it's in a duo and I'm really trying hard not to purchase duos. But this fragrance that I have had my eye on is Coral Poppy. The, the packaging on this is just stunning for this time of year. Fragrance notes are Coral Poppy, Sweet Plum, Peony Blooms, and Meyer Lemon. So those are ones that are currently in my cart. I was also looking at Santorini Sunset. So if you guys have any experience with that one, or honestly, any of the candles that I have talked about here, especially the ones that I haven't tried yet, but are sitting in my cart, would you please provide me with some feedback and the rest of our community with some feedback by leaving a comment down below? So that is it for all of the information for this sale. Like I said, it should be starting tomorrow, maybe tonight. We shall see. We have been told that affiliate codes will work in conjunction with the sale. Again, I will have all of that information listed in the description box down below for you. Don't forget that if you are comfortable using affiliate codes, you can use my code. It's very long. Katie's Joyful Life one long word will save you an additional 15% off of your purchase. Let me know in the comment box down below. Are you planning to shop this sale? Is this one that you have been pretty excited about? Uh, does this 
like get you get you going are you excited about it i haven't been this excited for purchasing some hallmarks products in quite some time because i'm like a lot of you guys i'm on a budget i have to i have to make my dollar stretch and so this is a great opportunity for me to finally be able to try out some new fragrances that i have had my eye on and also i will be making sure that i share my reviews with all of you guys so i think that's going to do it for me here today please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if it really if you found this video helpful it helps me out with the old youtube algorithm it lets other it lets them know hey people might want to see this video don't forget to subscribe if you're new and i just want to say thank you so very very much for spending your time here with me today. Until my next one, I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day. Bye.